So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's been so wonderful seeing you all come here this evening. And we, on behalf of Rua Ministries, welcome each and every one of you over here. And thank you for making the time to be with us today. This, what we're going to portray today uh, by the Rua Ministries, is the greatest truth ever told to mankind of how God reached down to us, reached down to mankind himself to be a man and come in the form of his son, Jesus Christ. So let's begin with our Ruas, the greatest gift of all. Howdy, friend. Howdy. Well, I'm just looking after my sheep. What brings you out on a cold night like this? You're a long way from home. I've been out looking for a nice Christmas tree to take back home. But I haven't found one yet. Perhaps you could tell me where I can. Where you could find a Christmas tree? <laughs> I'm afraid there aren't any of those around here. <clears throat> Look, why don't you sit a while and warm your feet and hands and drink some coffee? What's bothering you, friend? You see, my little boy is lying sick back at home. And this might be his last Christmas. So I thought to make this a very special Christmas for him by getting him a lovely Christmas tree, decorating it, putting some presents around it. But alas, oh. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about your son. I feel so helpless. If only there's a way. You know something? Christmas is all about God's gift to mankind. A long, long time ago, the prophet Isaiah said, The prophet Isaiah said, For unto us a child is born, for unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. The Lord himself will give you a sign that a virgin will be with child, and will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. In the midst of the darkness, God sent His Son, born of a virgin, the Holy, Holy One. Those who sat in the shadow of death, light will be earth's deep, sorrowing and broken-hearted, no more would they. Him. 
a night just like this that Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem seeking shelter but strangely the town had no room for the Savior as Mary was due to bring forth her child and they had to be content in a stable in a stable? Yes, a manger in which the child would be born. God may walk a walk 
shepherds watching their flocks out in the field that night when suddenly an angel appeared to them and said do not be afraid for I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people in the town of David a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Shepherds watched in amazement. The night sky blazed and the angel was joined by a multitude of other angels. Wow, they must have been the first carol singers. You know, wise men, they had seen his star in the sky and knew that it heralded the birth of a king, the king of the Jews. For they proclaimed, we have come to worship him. Led by a star? Yes, following the star, they came to Bethlehem bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And finding the baby Mary and Joseph, they bowed down and worshipped. Come today. 
shepherds were undoubtedly the first carol singers. Yes, like I said, wise men came from the east, for they had seen his star and knew that it heralded the birth of a king. And following the star, they came 
to Bethlehem. You mean strangers came from a far off land? Yes. Led by a star? Yes, yes, led by a star they came bearing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And finding the babe in the manger, they bowed down and worshipped. Somehow they got wild. They rode their camels across the deserts, burning sand. They couldn't fly, you know. They were no planes back then. Then they met old Harold, who was out to steal their joy. But the brush sold Harold off and found God's baby boy. Wise man. But the wise men just the same So talking about the Savior And that blessed night he came I stood your heralds out there Still trying to deceive But a whole world full of heralds Can't stop the servant near Wise men Still seeking Those on earth how much they need him Following Jesus Wherever he may lead him Wise man Still seek him Wise man Still seek him They're looking for a river That never will the one and only one who can bring meaning to their life. They're searching for the only way to heaven's open doors. Bringing gifts to offer him just like they did before. Wise men still seeking those on earth who realize how much they need. Following Jesus wherever he may lead him. Wise man, still seek him. Wise man, still seek him. Wise man, still seek him.
stars are brightly shining Dear Sister Night Of the dear Savior's birth Only the world Is sin and fear upon Till he appeared And the soul Do you realize that this sleepy little town of Bethlehem became the celestial crossroads, the intersection between heaven and earth? From that moment on, Bethlehem would occupy a magnificent place in history, the very place when God reached down and touch the world with his love. Looking down to show us the way We'll deal with you, my Lord You showed me the way and taught me how to love anew With your love You gave me your love, now I'm feeling so proud
Once I was lost, couldn't find the way Like a blind man in the night Suddenly you touched my heart Taught me how to see the light I will love you all of my life Cause you love me first I'll remember how you quenched my thirst. Once I was lost. Today, the world has lost the meaning of Christmas, believing that it's all about Santa Claus, gifts, presents, and merrymaking. What? You mean to say it's not about Santa Claus? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. The very word Christ has been replaced by the letter X in the word Christmas. But the world ought to know that it's only because Jesus came that Christmas keeps coming around every year.
I come today I am the light The truth The way Heaven's light That shines today For all who cannot see The saving grace of God is here Herald angels singing Do not fear God once distant Now is near Forever he will be enough for Mary. How would she understand that she was raising the son of God himself, a boy who when he called God his father meant it literally. Did you know that your baby boy is one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters?
with his hands Tell you no That your baby boy Has walked where angels trod When you kissed your little baby You kissed the face of God at the hope he brings. Life, healing, comfort, and peace to mankind. He sat there in the corner with his head down in his head. Sins like a knife. Each day faced accused him, and his tortured mind abused him. He had no way out but to take his life. Nowhere to run, nowhere to turn, in hopeless dark despair. special part of me, the only pure and holy son I know, he will take your place, set you free and make a way, and in him you will find a hope I'm sure, he's the land.
was no friend Then she heard a soft and gentle voice Say all along That he who is without sin Cast the first stone Suddenly a ray of hope And all the darkness made She turned and all she saw Was the Lamb of God there
My friend, you want a Christmas tree so that you can decorate it and put gifts under it for your son. But let me tell you, there's another tree that is more precious and important. The tree on Calvary. A tree which God decorated when he hung on it his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. The greatest gift of all. I see it. I see it. This is the tree I'm going to take home for my son. It's Christmas. Everyone is gathered around the tree Waiting to open up our gifts That will fill our hearts with so much joy But when it's said and done And we face tomorrow all again all the sorrow and the strife and all the pain Do we have an answer to this world of sin? Will the lights on the tree shine through the night When the storms of life toss and turn? Will the day The colors of Christmas that we earn. Where we look at the tree, tell me what will you see? Will it be joy evermore? Or is reality the face that you see standing at your? land, the Holy One, His only Son, the great I am, for us with love, the greatest gift of all, for us with love. God bless you all, and I hope that this story, which is the only truth that has lasted throughout time, 
that Jesus Christ came today to take away the sins of the world. He was called the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And tonight, I want to offer you an opportunity, anybody who has never received this Savior as his Savior or her Savior, this is the time, this is the moment. The Bible says, you know, Jesus said, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If you open, I will come in and I will sup with you and bless you and be with you. Today is the day to open the door of our hearts to welcome this Savior that has come. I'm going to pray and if you want to pray with me, please feel free to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Saying, Father, I thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, that came at this time as the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. I believe that he died on that cross for my sins. And I believe he rose again on the third day and lives forevermore. So Father, I open the door of my heart. Come, my Savior. Wash away my sins and be the Lord and God of my life. Amen. God bless you. God bless you all.